I found trunks full, two trunks full of newspapers. And I opened it up, it was a mochila, it was a suitcase, a big brown suitcase. Took everything off uh, the guest room floor and laid every single one out. And that's how I sorted it. And it, it just, it took months. And I opened it up and there was 80 plus songbooks that my dad had when he was teaching himself how to read and write in English and Spanish. The collection actually has a, a variety of things from, from my dad when he was first came in as an immigrant all the way till he passed away and um, quite a bit obviously focused on, on his music. My grandfather was Jesus Franco. He was the Consul General of Mexico to Arizona. He and my grandmother, Josefina Carascoso de Franco, they together started El Sol, one of the first Spanish-speaking newspapers in Arizona. He dedicated himself to the music, so teaching people a little bit about the history of the Jarocho music, why it's important to the United States, is kind of um, his history. This flag is from the Mexican Revolution, and the China Poblana outfit is a folkloric outfit of, that is worn a lot during Mexican Independence Day celebrations. I mean, there was just so many great memories of, of those fiestas. And, We'd go buy crinolines at Azteca Plaza. <laughs> so much of who, of what became my identity as a human being, as, as an adult, as a young adult and as an older adult, performing, even to this day, I sing songs and I'm thinking of my dad. <laughs> We're thinking of songs that we sang together, performing the, some of the same songs I used to do with him, so. I think it's really important to share those stories. They make up who we are and, and what we become.